for a slinky wave is a slinky. Media is the thing we're, we're oscillating. So in, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm oscillating what? Voice. No. Sound. No. Pitch. Air. What am I shaking? I'm shaking air. air. That's why you can't hear. There was a famous line in the Alien movie. It said, you can't hear people scream. Because you can't. Space, you can't hear people scream. Two astronauts can be standing right next to each other. They can yell all they want to. Unless they turn on the radio, they're not hearing each other. The radio is what sends a message between the two helmets, not their actual voices. They can bang on their helmet to get the other person's attention. I can't hear you. The waves don't propagate. So this is a slinky wave. Now, a slinky wave, I can do this. Whoop. I can do this. Whoop. Whoop. Here we go. Good. All right. So now, what we just said a second ago, I said, hey, um, as I am oscillating, okay, if I speed up my oscillation, I just get more waves. Right? Now, what you're seeing now is a standing wave. If I do it exactly right, look, I messed it up. Sorry. If I do it exactly right, you'll see the nodes don't move. That's places that don't move stay in the same spot. That's because he's, not, he's actually reflecting waves. Don't believe me? Watch. Right? Sends the wave right back to me. Okay? I do this, he sends the wave right back to me on the other side because he's weird. Okay? Now, if I want to, the speed of the wave is not changing. Look, if I do a big one and a little one, they travel together, stay the same distance apart from each other. So that what determines the speed is how fast the wave is, how fast, sorry, backing up. What determines the speed is just the media itself. That's it. So when I'm talking in air, that's what determines it. Okay, one more time, get the video ready. You ready? I'm gonna go, I don't get any of this coming anyways. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here's, here's a longitudinal or compressional wave. I compress the section and I let go of it. Right? So actually, there's two ways in which waves propagate. They propagate either by going forward and back or side to side. Transverse is side to side. And up and down. Okay? Up and down would also be a transverse wave. I just don't want to do that with the floor here. In a way. Okay? Um, now, Typical sound. Water waves are transverse. Light waves are transverse. What's a compressional one besides slinkies? Air. Specifically? Sound of waves. Sound. sound. <laughs> the voice of my voice. The way I make sound is I compress and what we call rarefact air. Compressions are equivalent to crests. Rarefactions are equivalent to troughs. Make sense? Now, here's the tricky part. Are you ready, Colin? What's your job? <laughs> Hold on the slinky no matter what. I'm going to come to you. Usually at this point, the other person then lets go of the slinky and with a big knot. Okay? I don't know why I have to let go at this moment after I give only one instruction, which is to hold on for dear life. But this is when, the, this is when I make my, my slinky bows back there that I have lots of them. Okay? Okay, so we're going to do what's called the principle of superposition. That means that we are simultaneously going to send waves towards each other. And you need to see what happens in the middle. Okay? Ready over there? Okay. So I'm going to send, put a wave on this side. You're going to put a wave on this side as well. I'm going to do it on three. You go three, two, one, and then go, and then we'll do it on go. Should happen roughly in the middle of Slinky. Why would it happen in the middle of Slinky? Traveling the same speed. The wave come this way, the wave come this way. We travel the same speed, no matter how badly we do this. The only question is whether or not we start at the same time. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, I went before she did. That was underwhelming. That was underwhelming. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's move a little bit this way. Same drill. Ready? All right, let's get this. Move a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, so what happened in the middle? They combined. They combined. And what did it look like when they combined? They became a bigger wave. A bigger wave. How much bigger? Twice as big. Watch the waves. Here we go. One more time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was terrible. I didn't even see it there. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. There it is. So mine was running at about a half a tile. Hers about a half a tile. How far did it pop out? No, it went out one top. 
It's called the principle of superposition. That is that my wave adds to her wave or subtracts. So if she goes on this side when I go on this side, what's going to happen? It's just going to die. It's going to die some, right? In the middle. It's going to look weird, okay? So I want a fairly violent one. We're going to be fairly sharp, just, just quick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. On three, two, one, go. So look what happened in the middle. That momentarily, there's like a dead spot, and then, then the waves pass. Now watch what happens also when they pass through. Look where, try to figure out where her wave's going, where it ends up. Ready? Three, two, one, go. My wave kept going, her wave kept going. In the middle, they did what? They kind of disappeared, except my wave is bigger than hers, so it kind of went this way a little bit, right? It's called the principle of superposition. When you put two waves on top of each other, they cancel each other out. That's where those no noise-canceling headphones theoretically work. They make noise. What? She bought headphones for quiet. Is, is there your cousin? Yes. She bought headphones for quiet that make noise. Why would she do that? What kind of sick person is she? They cancel out normal noises. How do they do that? By making like opposite way principles. Right. Sound. You make the opposite way. You make the opposite way. The principle of superposition gives you a flat line. And then when there's like a new unexpected noise. Then you can hear it perfectly well, can, right? What? <laughs> Holy. They get sitting up playing <laughs> where the engine's going the whole entire time. It's gone because you're, it, the, the thing reads, chords it, plays one half, one half wave out of length. The spikes become, the, the troughs become crests, the crests become toffs, nothing. And you're sitting there listening to nothing. Except for if you put music in there, which is theoretically known not to cancel out. Right? That's how it works. But if somebody turns around, the baby turns around, starts screaming at the top of their lungs, the very first moment you're going to hear that really, really well. Because they take well for the head. Opposed to go, whoa, what's that? Okay, kill that. Right? 